Hello and welcome to another edition of the Guide Vision Insider Podcast, the podcast that takes you behind the scenes at Guide Vision, but not only Guide Vision, and today uh, we're actually at one of Guide Vision's partners, uh, the, uh, the banking group KBC and Che Sobe. And uh, I'm honored today to be with two uh, key players on the ServiceNow Global Competence Center here at KBC Group. Uh, uh, Mariusz Hudecek, or Marek is what your friends call you. Yeah, that's correct. Can I call you Marek? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, and Robert Robin Hoss. Anything works. I'm fine with both. Great. Now, Marek, what is your position uh, here at, at KBC? Uh, well, I'm the executive manager of the Global Competence Center of Service now in KBC. Okay. And Robin, what is your, your title? Well, I do have a lot of hats, but yeah. the main one is a global business analyst uh, for ServiceNow platform within KBC Group. Okay. Now, you guys uh, work together on this uh, ServiceNow Global Competence Center uh, here at KBC and Česobe. By the way, we're here in Prague at the headquarters of Česobe, Československa Obchodní Banka, which is part of the KBC Group. Now. T can you tell me a little bit about what it is that you do on the uh, the ServiceNow Global Competence Center? Well, the ServiceNow Global Competence Center is a team of, of, of people uh, which are responsible for ServiceNow platform and entire KBC. Uh, approximately 18 countries, one eight, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we are friends which are playing with the platform. <laughs> okay, excellent. Now. Uh, Robin, you're a member of the team uh, as well. You guys, but you're working for Guide Vision and not for Chesobe. Or how does that work? I mean, uh, Marek, can you explain this? Uh, how this cooperation works? Well, I would say very well. Uh, <laughs> and uh, well, we we uh, we have started actually the cooperation a few years ago. Uh, to fulfill uh, the, the colleagues or customers' needs. Mm -hmm. uh, frankly, I have to say that well, I'm very satisfied with the cooperation. Um, <laughs> I would say otherwise I would change it if I wouldn't be. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. Uh, and the long-lasting cooperation already for eight years. Uh, actually, we started it maybe even sooner. I don't remember mm -hmm. exactly. Uh, says that, 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 that we are doing very well. Yeah, you know, when I started at Guide Vision, it was, I think, the 2nd of January. I just wait, wait, uh, went straight here into the office. Wow. Yeah, I, I didn't really visit the Guide Vision offices on the first day. I kept it for the fourth one or something like that. Yeah. And since then, I've been here. I haven't changed anything. Yeah. But, I mean, you do go into the Guide Vision office. I do visit <laughs> infrequently, especially after, after the COVID situation. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I do love the atmosphere in there as well, but uh, my primary office is in here. You've been together as the ServiceNow Global Competence Team for more than eight years. Um, what is uh, what are you most satisfied with um, in your cooperation with Guide Vision? Well, if I look at Guide Vision, uh, I re I'm really very satisfied uh, with uh, with the flexibility that Guide Vision gave me, and we have really good partnership because we know each other for for a longer time. Uh, and uh, this is very important that also Guide Division knows the KBC's roadmap, you know, so we can really balance our needs and we can, we, we were always able to agree on, 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 on resources, you know, knowledge, etc. And this is what I really appreciate from the Guide Division. Um, and of course, technical, exp uh, technical uh, knowledge is, is also very, very valuable. Yeah, vice versa. Whenever I try to, you know, onboard somebody into the KBC team, I always tell the people, you should consider yourself lucky because you are coming to the best customer. We don't care when you work, where you work. Yeah, we don't care, you know, that you have kids. We will manage as long as your work is done. Do it whenever, however you like. <laughs> Excellent. How many people on the team? But today I would say it's 30, it's fluctuating, uh -huh. uh, not, not, not because the people are leaving, yeah. uh, but the demand, the demand is changing. Okay. Yeah. We actually just onboarded five just uh, like two oh, days ago, wow. so I think it's like 35 right now. Excellent. Now, uh, I want to back up just a little bit, because uh, with such a big banking group, um, 
Can you talk a little bit about the role that IT service management plays in in this type of a, a company? I mean, uh, why is IT and actually functioning IT so important for KBC and Chesopac? Well, I would say the companies of today uh, are not the financial companies, there are more IT companies, mm -hmm. yeah? Because if you think, you know, about products that we have, you have internet banking, you know, in a mobile phone, in a tablet, you have it, you have it in your, in your laptop, yeah? Uh, so, so, so what you normally do, you're touching more IT services. Mm -hmm. So then, then going physically to the branch and meeting the people there and, and, and talking, you know, with the, with the, with the people uh, at the branch. So, so, um, the, IT is crucial for mm -hmm. all, for I would say for all companies of these days. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. I mean especially for a bank, right? I mean, you, I, if I can't pull my money out, I'm going to be unhappy. Uh, yeah, that's that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, uh, making sure that your uptime on your servers and on your uh, your other equipment is uh, is running correctly and, and is always really high is uh, got to be a really important part of your task. Oh, it's definitely part of your task, but not definitely responsible directly for the service. You know that are playing the role uh, of, of of serving of to to financial services, mm -hmm. but we are responsible for for the process related with that. Yeah. So uh, our team, as I said, we are responsible for ServiceNow platform, which is serving uh, to KBC a lot of functions. Mm -hmm. One of those, and I, I would say the most important, is the incident management. Mm -hmm. uh, by incident management is important yeah imagine you have a money uh, yeah. in the bank and the system is down right. uh, uh, the bank hasn't got a proper incident management so they can't tell you really where, where will you be able to get the money uh, fr fr from the bank yeah? right so that's why uh, incident management as a process is one of the most important because we need to make sure that the customer if is impacted by the outage of mm -hmm. any banking system uh, has a sufficient process to to to, to put it back and up and running. And ServiceNow then forms the backbone of your incident management? Uh, definitely. Okay. Not only, not only incident management, it's also about the configuration management, problem management, change management, and uh, there are many processes that we currently uh, serve from ServiceNow platform. Yeah, but it's not just ITSM that we do. Yeah, we yeah. Have just recently we've started really, you know, going into depth when it comes to business processes, and especially after COVID hit in, uh, we we were struggling as a bank, or generally we were struggling with the automation, with uh, the hyper automation that ServiceNow currently promotes. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's why even people from business keep coming to us. Yeah. And, you know, as a bank, uh, we are uh, currently really into uh, the governance, risk and compliance or integrated risk management, as it is called these mm -hmm. days. So we implemented business continuity management uh, and we do have a lot of things from, uh, from IRM, actually. Excellent. Now, uh, actually, uh, so the, the scope of the initial work, and this is eight years now that ServiceNow has been in place here, right? It's eight years. Uh, from the rollout. Okay. Yeah, we're playing with the platform since 2012. Okay, and what led to the decision to use ServiceNow? Why, why ServiceNow and what, not some other? Well, other the basic reason that was that uh, we have had a service center uh, system from HP, uh, which was a, a legacy system and running out of support. Mm -hmm. So we had to replace it. And we were looking for the two directions. One of the was to go and upgrade to a newer version from of, of HP system, which was service manager at that time, or or move to completely different system. Mm -hmm. uh, we have chosen completely different system because our customization of the of the previous system was too high. So we compared the cost, you know, uh, and we said, okay, it doesn't make sense, you know, to just upgrade it. Let's go for something completely new. And we were looking for really 21st century system. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that would be your ServiceNow uh, uh, platform. Definitely. The Now <laughs> platform. Now, uh, the, the global competency center is an interesting thing because it's made up of these two organizations, GuideVision and KBC Chesobe. Um, 
How did that come about? What led you to the idea of creating this kind of a, a team? Well, originally, uh, the idea was to do it completely internally. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was the original idea, uh, just because we had very experienced people, you know, all of them were doing uh, the consultancy of ITSM for the different, for the various customers in the past. So we said, okay, let's do it internally. But uh, the demand was growing and uh, the, the, the actually we were not able to find the right people and immediately to chairs or bear. So we said, let's go for to, 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 to start cooperation with some partner. Mm -hmm. And we have selected uh, at that moment Guide Vision. Yeah. And you were, you've been here since the beginning, Robin, right? Almost, almost, almost. almost. I joined a small team which was here at the time and I took the lead uh, quite short, shortly afterwards. Mm -hmm. And I would say it's majorly about the flexibility that we are uh, able and that we are still able to provide. Yeah? Uh, I mean, even the recent example of onboarding basically five new guys into the, right. into, into the full team, yeah? uh, it's been quite coherent and took, it took us a week from the decision that we are onboarding. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So we are getting them on the 1st of July. Um, that would be impossible to achieve through internal hiring. Yeah? Massive flexibility. Uh, probably afforded by the system as well. Yeah, yeah, we do have uh, some governance in place, which we are trying to ever improve. Mm -hmm. And it's about, you know, being able to actually prepare the place for the people, to mm -hmm. get them some onboarding, to get them some buddies. Yeah? And we've been really good with developing people, basically from juniors uh, to, to senior people. Yeah? And it's all about, you know, continuous work and having time for them. And uh, no matter the location, we always try to travel to visit, to visit everybody, to see everybody face to face from time to time, mm -hmm. whenever possible, right? So yeah, yeah, I, I would say that's, that's, the, that's the main thing that we are really doing with Marius quite well. Uh, yeah, to, to, to see those people, to care about them. Yeah. 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 Now, when you established the center, um, was it hard to convince management that uh, that you could use an external vendor in this kind of a way. I mean, Guide Vision would be considered an external vendor uh, at you know at least in the beginning, right? No, it wasn't. It, oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. It wasn't. Actually, we had good reason to do it, yeah, because the, the demand was so high, mm -hmm. uh, and it was, and uh, frankly, also the knowledge, yeah, the knowledge was missing. Uh, ServiceNow is not a very complex system from, I mean, from the te technical perspective, yeah? It's mm -hmm. about JavaScript, you know, which are rather frequently used scripts or, or, or coding uh, um, languages. Uh, nevertheless, uh, the demand and uh, the knowledge was missing at that time, so we really came with the proposal to, 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 to start cooperation with the external part partner. And at that time, it went very smoothly, frankly. Great. And this is also a question then for you, Robin. I mean, because you're based out of this office, but although you're a Guide Vision employee. How does that, how does that work? Well, to be honest, sometimes I feel like an ABC employee. Yeah? I, mean, uh -huh. I spend so much time with this guy next to me on business trips and everywhere. Yeah? And he's, all, he's almost family these days. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but uh, he yeah he knows my girlfriend pr quite well. For example, the kids call his name when I see him. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, but we, we do have some good chemistry. I would say yeah. in general. I mean, I do come to the guard vision offices. Obviously, that goes with uh, my position, you know, and yeah. with my seniority to try to also help on some of the projects from time to time. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. But you've you've mentioned before uh, that the, you try to run this as one team. Yeah. And uh, can you explain how that works? I mean. Well, uh, you, you, you talk about KBC and Guide Vision. Yeah. I don't talk about those companies. I just talk about GCC, ServiceNow Global Competence Okay. Asia. And that was the idea from the very beginning. You know, I told, I, I, I said to people, forget about KBC, forget about Chesobe, forget about uh, Guide Vision. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a GCC, we are one team. It doesn't matter if you're internal or external, we'll do the same job for the same customer or colleague. I, I, I actually, frankly, I don't like working customer I, I prefer colleagues yeah uh, so uh, and and that that um, team spirit has been let's say put it to the people mm -hmm. uh, that they really think about you know common common deliverables <laughs> okay uh, and uh, that's the basic of, of it yeah we, we're, well I always 
say we're more focused on on, on the team spirits you know on the cooperation than than really the, the knowledges and and maybe some hard skills yeah mm -hmm. which are definitely very important uh, nevertheless the team spirit is the most important and so actually now that leads me to the next question which has to do with what your team does I mean obviously you're you're maintaining the service now instance but uh, you're also coming up with new features and and you've you've described this process as being agile like. Um, what ex what exactly do you mean by agile like? Uh, we say agile like just because we've uh, implemented the process a uh, few years before the agile methodology uh, has been invented. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, but well, all met all methods or 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 all. Uh, processes uh, if they are good they are based on the be best practice and and uh, and common sense mm -hmm. so we had to achieve a very similar result to an agile because we are common sense driven uh, not organization but the team mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's 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 all it has some flavors of the agile i would say 80 to 90 percent uh, but we already have some changes you know mm -hmm. because we have found them more beneficial for com for companies yeah typical example is planning poker yeah we do it differently uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> okay yeah and sometimes we don't match the terms right so we have been doing pi planning basically uh, mm -hmm. for nine years something like that P pi yeah. planning pi planning yeah that's a term from safe Okay. Yeah, the big day, you know, when you meet in the office, uh, right. all the all the stakeholders, okay. and you basically plan the next release. We've been calling that a release coordination meeting, but it's pretty much exactly the same. Just meeting the guys for two days, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, so, what does the team? Uh, how is the team formed? How is it? What's it look like? Uh, now, you've mentioned something uh, in the past that there's a, a Czech science fiction TV show uh, that you've made reference to Navštěvnice. Uh, and the, <laughs> the CML, the Centralny Mozek Lidstva, the central brain of humanity. <laughs> what, what, is, what the hell is that? Well, uh, since, uh, since I'm the leader of the ServiceNow user group for Czechoslovak region, I have the, uh, good contact with, with colleagues who are responsible so, so for ServiceNow in, in various companies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I've seen several models, you know, when the, the, uh, the responsibility was decentralized. Uh, we have centralized it a little bit. So wh whomever you will ask in the KBC who's responsible for service, now it's us. Uh -huh. yeah? And we ca uh, it's not only about the responsibility, but it also, it's also about uh, uh, the, the deliverables, uh, which means um, we, uh, we uh, are responsible from A to Z uh, with regards to service now. Mm -hmm. And uh, we... Uh, we are delivering, you know, all the functions like implementation, up and running, you know, maintenance uh, uh, within within the team. That was the concept. Okay. And so, there, how many people are on the CML, the the central brain? Yeah. It, it's a GCC, actually. Uh, just <laughs> the whole team, then. I mean. No, no. Um, honestly, the, there is like a core team which we call, uh, who is responsible, for example, for the pl playing poker. Yeah. For all of those releases. And it's uh, five to six people normally. Okay. Yeah. And so, with with somebody with the 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 organization being as large at, as it is, with several different uh, teams in different countries, um, your role then is to be more uh, of a coordinator. Is that correct? I mean, it's uh, is it coordination that that is the main function, or is it actually top down saying you guys do this? Uh, you know, go on and you know the, the big the biggest benefit you know of myself and Marius being here is that we actually know service now. Yeah, it's not like yeah. we are you know just trying to be some managers or anything like that. We actually come together to customers uh -huh. and we really prepare POCs. You know, from day day one to the second to the second morning, just listening to them, understanding the business requirements, and giving them some kind of show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I believe we can still do that. Not with everything, yeah, but we are still capable of doing that, and we are keeping the knowledge. Yeah, so. Even though, yeah, we are coordinating to some extent, we have to do the escalation points. We have to, we have to, you know, decide on some uh, on some things, on some strategy, on some roadmaps. Yeah, mm -hmm. we are we are still trying to be a part of the team as such. I'm not I'm not the best coder in the world. Yeah, I will mm -hmm. be honest with you. Yeah. I can't even walk and chew gum at the same time, so don't ask me. <laughs> but that's very important, actually, uh, the uh, topic because 
uh, the both of us, uh, we've delivered, you know, a lot of lot of new features to ser to our platform, to our instance, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this is also very important for the team, you know, that they are not talking to people which are completely disconnected from 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 the platform. Yeah, very frankly, I'm 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 losing the knowledge, mm -hmm. yeah, because I'm slightly moving from 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 the consultant to a managerial role, or, or already, or maybe I've already moved there, uh -huh. uh, but. I would say uh, we still keep the knowledge that we can talk to the guys, you know, we can consult them, we can bring ideas, we can, we can influence it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what would be an example of a, a new feature that you're working on now? What are, what's, a, what's, what's in the works? Right. So currently we are uh, basically thinking about implementing the whole uh, GRC. Uh, for a global risk team in here. Mm -hmm. uh, so they would like to move from a proprietary tool, which is currently being discontinued. It's called BeWise. Mm -hmm. uh, and they are considering service now as a very serious candidate. They actually like it, they just need to find the budget. Yeah, so okay. That would be a big project that, that we would uh, head into. Okay. So my next question then. Uh, your team has really excellent chemistry. Um, I've had the opportunity to talk with both of you a little bit before uh, before this. and. It's, uh, I was really amazed at how, you, how well you guys work together, how, you, how much you get along. Um, Marek, as a manager, um, how do you, what do you do to keep a team of developers and uh, you know, experts engaged in this way, to keep them productive, satisfied, happy? Well, uh, th there are two pills, I would say. The first is that I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> The second pill that uh, I sup I think I'm a little funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, it's all about the humor, you know. Uh, I talk. To, I, I always say to my colleagues, we're not coming to the office to work. We're coming to have a fun. Mm -hmm. the, the work will come afterwards, automatically, and with very good, you know, quality and time to market. Mm -hmm. My first sentence to every newbie in the team is, don't take me seriously, please. <laughs> <laughs> and, and do they? They do, they do, actually, yeah. they do. Yeah. So they're, they're very stri uh, stiff in the beginning? or they're, they're <laughs> just, ah, okay. No, no, not really. But if something is said, they really do it, yeah, because, I know, yeah. It, it, they, yeah, we are trying to pick, pick people mainly because they are loyal and that they will stay with us and that they yeah. will like us, that there is chemistry. Yeah. And you've, you've taken uh, great pains in, you know, in, the, in the center uh, to develop your talent over the years. Um, I mean, the, for example, we, you know, we talked earlier about these five new people uh, joining. And you know, I, get, I would assume that they're probably relatively junior developers, is that? Yeah, that's a, that's a correct assumption. Yeah, I think at least three of them are basically new, okay. newish. Yeah. But, or even four. But I mean, over the years, you've been able to really develop some talent uh, mm -hmm. on the team. And uh, is that an important part of your job? Uh, well, building a talent, the ta talent uh, is very important. Uh, for me, it's also very important, you know, to have the continuity mm -hmm. and, and keeping the historical knowledge, yeah. Uh, frankly, I, I prefer to, to work with a stable team yeah. that I don't have to explain every second month, you know, what are we, who are we, why we are here, etc. Yeah. And it really brings the values. And uh, you, you, you see it here, you know, we have stable team, uh, we, we talk to the same people, we're trying to keep them, yeah. uh, keep, trying to keep them, which doesn't mean that if the personnel, personnel doesn't want to change, you know, the, uh, he or she can't leave, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. But we try to convince them, but not by saying, but by doing, by you doing. know, yeah, uh, to, to, to stay here. And people are staying here. <laughs> people are staying indeed, yeah. But if you look, you know, at the most principal group at Guide Vision, basically, and then people like Lukáš Slánsky, Lukáš Perutka, Honza Procházka, they both went through, all went through KBC since basically being newish in the company. So this is quite a... a talent finishing school then or, or uh, uh, talent development. Yeah, we are trying to give the people a place to grow, yeah. I mean, they, they get chances, you know, early on in their careers, basically. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, one approach is uh, for, for the junior to start coding, to be babysitting the person. Yeah. What we normally do is we throw him into the water and see what he does, right? Yeah. But I mean, you're there to help out. Yeah, we are. We always, you know, bring yeah. help if, uh, if it's being asked for, yeah. 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 Um, Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. I think uh, 
your your team is is wonderful. I'm, I've really enjoyed uh, talking with you, not only in this conversation but in the other conversations that we've had. And uh, I really wish you all of the best of luck. And oh, you guys don't need luck, but you just need you know the time to actually do, get things we done. Do, we do. <laughs> But we are usually lucky. <laughs> well, thank you for being guests on the Guide Vision Insider podcast. And uh, remember that you can always catch us uh, on the Guide Vision website or on all of the major podcasting platforms, including Apple and Spotify. Um, thank you again. Thank you, Marius. Uh, Marius Marek Hudacek <laughs> and Robert Robin Haas. Thanks, thanks, Doug. Um, and uh, we'll hopefully uh, be doing this again at some point. I really would love to check back in with you guys. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.